Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved uh, blind playthrough of Legend Difficulty. It is time to face an attacking strength of 22. We're actually uh, facing the Pandorans once in a while. That makes for a good change of pace. Uh, the Prime team is well equipped, don't need to double check that, so let's jump right into the action and uh, hit some Pandorians. Very good, so we landed. There might be a Skrilla, nope, not only might, there indeed is a Skrilla, 4800 hit points. Can't just slash that into pieces, but we can slash everything else into fine little pieces. Okay, shall we give it a go? We shall. So, number one, Shadow Realm begins to sprint up, move, and funnily enough, not find anything suspicious. Euler moves uh, together with him. And then hands over an onslaught. Shattered Realm actually begins to kind of leap like Spider-Man. Finally, a couple of enemies. All right, well, not only a couple. Moving in with another sprint. <laughs> Refilling our action. Can we somehow get that guy? Um, trying. All right, so that's one. I was born ready. Rolling in my sights. Okay, cool. Now, jump down two. That's a solid kill. Moving in. That and that is a kill. That and that is another kill. Can we somehow get in there? Hmm, it's difficult. This guy has really buckled up. Uh, 
Okay, let's do this. And we're moving up with drinks, removing some of the smoke as well. Good, more onslaught. Charging in. Okay, we could get the guy upstairs. I think I'll do that, which would only leave the Skrilla. I don't want to deal with uh, this Triton. Skrilla is down to 41 hit point, uh, willpower. Continuing to move up. Murphy moves up. hit points by war cry drinks continues to move up uh, poorly it's pretty far throws a turret yeah and then he just takes a couple of shots see how quick we can get it down with our uh, with our melee weapons that's actually a really stupid mistake because that means we have a reset available Big fat hit on the abdomen, abdominum. This is interesting. Uh, because we have never slashed a Skrilla. Wow, minus 60 armor, still 500 hit points.
Oh wow. One, two, three. Ranks begins to move up, hence over more actions, because uh, this level of damage is completely unprecedented. A thousand two hundred. Like we're charging up, and the Skrilla is dead before it even knows it. Yeah, there you go, done. <laughs> Wow, what a massive amount of damage. Like we could have even dealt more damage, but that was straight up carnage. 500 per hit and then even the uh, body parts uh, are going down. Hardcore, the weapons, specifically the ancient weapons the Scyther, I think, is a bit too busted. Very good. Good, let's defend the other two havens, shall we? Very good. Uh, two for ten. Nah, that's not attractive enough. Very good. So, finally, we're uh, defending a Disciples of Anu haven, which will give us a big bonus here. Unfortunately, all of these defenses are net negative. Which I think is a, is a not really understandable concept. Why wouldn't uh, why wouldn't only the two factions that are involved uh, be mad about one another? But apparently, uh, all of them start to be mad at each other. Good, we got our B team here, or is it the C team? No, it's actually neither. It's actually neither. I think it's the D, De uh, D, S, and Delta team. Good, and since we have enough resources, what I would want to do is manufacture. I mentioned that a bit earlier. I want to build an acid only team and maybe a poison only team as well. Uh, that sounds like a fun little side challenge. So instead of uh, the normal stuff, how about a series of normal crossbow, poison grenade. Well, that I will start with the acid team, not with a poison team. Good, Phoenix Grenade Launcher. Well, that's good, but not what we are needing. Virophage. Um, no. This here is dealing virus damage. I think that's poison damage as well. God damn it, so many different options. Here we got piercing and 10 virus. No, this is poison. Virophage seems poison. Let's get one of uh, those going. And a bit of ammunition. Mercy is the normal shotgun, okay.
Where is the acid damage? Here we go. Now we're talking. So, we want two of these bad boys. And I think Virophage actually might be the asset. Two, three, four, five. Rattlesnake is the armor piercing one. No, we don't want that. This is the armor piercing sniper. We don't want that either. Lots of armor piercing weapons. And there definitely is an option for kind of flaming uh, weapons as well. But currently I don't want to use that. Um, no. That's a shock shotgun, essentially trying to stun the targets. That's an interesting concept, but not what we're looking for. This here would be a virus uh, weapon. And we're going to go with a virus uh, with a virus only team, but this one here might focus on acid first. There we go. One, two. You are you uh, uranium. Okay, so we got. Snipers. We got snipers. We uh, potentially need to get a second sniper. We got two heavy weapons. Got a lot of grenades, two pistols. I'm missing a normal assault rifle. So anything that they can use, which would allow us uh, to apply to apply viruses. Hmm. Apparently there is no acid weapon that would do that. We'll take another one of these. Good, and we got a few grenades. So let me just think that through. Uh, we got two snipers, two heavy weapons. We got a couple of sanctifiers. Might need another sanctifier here. Uh, pistols are never, never a bad idea. And really what we want to do is acid and poison damage. We got one poison team, we got, this will be our acid uh, team. And I think they can, yeah, we can just substitute with normal uh, weapons. As and when we see it uh, fit. Sonic Shock, no idea what that does exactly. But I want to test a bit of uh, the other equipments to have a more holistic um, overview and, and essentially be able to formulate a better opinion about uh, what works and what doesn't. So I'll do one team into an acid team. We got a poison team already. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but be it as it uh, may. And we might uh, build up a bit more poison specific equipment around them. And then we could uh, build one like flaming team, but there is only like a heavy flamer, uh, the grenades. 
No, there is uh, not enough. Uh, there is not enough that we could uh, mm, equip to make an all fiery team. Just doesn't work. We could definitely get like one team which is sort of ignoring armor and take all of the armor penetrating items. But uh, that's that's uh, going to matter a bit later. For now, let's deploy the team here. Uh, 14 points. No, we're still saving up. Uh, yeah, I remember Stephen had a decent amount of weapons and we gave him kind of the heavy weapons so that he can actually deal damage. Asian Crow, well equipped. I mean, the only only thing that is missing is a proper grenade, but other than that, really well equipped. And I think we wanted to have returned fire next. Kyle, again, I hate to say it, but well equipped. Don't want to fall into that trap. Close quarter evade is nice. We could uh, use uh, that. Incy Vinci looks good. Uh, does have that uh, disciple of a new uh, pistol. I think we're just going to change that. Can we take something else? I mean, we could take a better grenade launcher. But we don't have boom blast, so nope, not happening. Anthony, well equipped. We got a good equipment here on backbiters uh, as well. Not sure. I think I wanted quick aim next before going into vanish. Yeah, we're just handing out the better sniper rifles at this point. More accuracy means more damage. And here we were waiting. Yeah, this team is still very much in a build-up phase. Steven definitely could benefit uh, from a sniper rifle, but that pushes him kind of over the edge. More strength is good. I, that's an okay uh, setup. Okay, very good. Let's deploy. All right, we landed. So, kill all enemies. And we got a couple of disciple of a new friends here. So, we can already see. New Jericho. Let's instill frenzy. Ready to go to work. Good. If the enemies come from over here, naturally, I'm wondering can we get close enough so that. Or scream them. The answer is likely not, so uh, we should at least injure them. Maybe we can get the Fury 2 equipment, which is the rocket launcher, and can get it down.
Okay, so there is a second pair of enemies. Okay, we're essentially, as always, landing in the middle. Holy moly, that is a bad idea. Good, got triplets over there. Fantastic. Now let's move over here. Grab the extra decipher. Oh, he got onslaught even. I like that. All we have is the Disciple Shotgun. If we sprint far enough, we might be able to do something with it, though. Okay, even more enemies are coming in. Good, let's move up. There will be return for oh no, no return fire. Well, that's good. That is some massive damage right there. Ready. Eyes peeled. Well, that's not bad. Let's start to use our range advantage. Did we kill him? No, we just took away his gun. Out of all of the things that we could have hit, of course we're hitting the gun. More damage on the torso, that's not bad either. Throwing a turret there. Yeah, we could induce panic. I don't want to do that yet. Instead, let's use our turret. Start clearing up this side. Yeah, both are not optimal hits, but yeah. I think the one that I chose was the better one. Good, full cover here for Steven. Still alive. Moving over here. Craig continues and yeah, let's just kill him. Problem solved. Good, more will points uh, spent. Let's hand over actions because I think the snipers at the moment have the best chance to actually hit any of uh, the en uh, enemies. I'll keep my eyes open. I'm here. Let me see. <laughs> All right, one more hit. Yeah, there we go. Enemy sniper gone. And listen, Anthony here. Might as well just go over here for some better cover. 
Overwatch, and we're done. Disciples of Anu see a lot of enemies, and one thing that that Berserker is not is afraid. He is running into like a group of five of them. Got me bad. This guy just killed both of his legs. This will hurt. Well, maybe not as much as I thought it would. That, on the other hand, is a pretty sizable hit. Oh boy. Yeah, the Berserker. I mean, that was clear after he like saw four or five enemies. It was very predictable what is going to happen. Okay, as long as they fight against the generator, I'm okay. Okay, cool. Well, here are a couple of uh, things to consider. Number one, our assault. Straight up annihilates the enemy. I like that. We're going to move further in here in a sec. But before we're doing anything, let's just see what we can do with our gun. Alright, that's one. Spider drone moves up. Spider drone goes kaboom. Which neatly brings us to second spider drone. Oh! Which does the exact same thing. Now let's continue. Ah! <laughs> Two for one, baby. Gets one shot. This better work. Gets the second one, and uh, that's a kill. Spider drones are moving out. Reload. One move. Triplet of spider drones. It's going to go in here, by the way. This guy's panicked. Oh, yeah, he is fantastic. Incy Vincy. Um. Moves up to here and then takes full cover. Steven does the same. Semi high ground, full cover. Sounds like a good idea to me. 
That's mind control, because why not? Very good. Uh, in the meantime, we are moving up. These snipers, I think we could make a case for just sniping alongside that long uh, alleyway. And Asian cow begins to move up as well. Good. Good second turn. Specifically the triple kill on the right hand side was good. Meanwhile, New Jericho is not really doing a great job here. Opening fire. They are setting themselves on fire. <laughs> not clever. All right, regaining, regaining extra willpower and then being completely out of line of sight. That's helpful. I'm prepared. Moves up, sees everyone down there. Yeah, and I think we're just going to go further down. Steven has full willpower, so we're good. Incy Vincy. Begins to move up, slowly but surely. We can go even a bit closer. Oh. Fantastic. How about we're positioning ourselves in here, which means we can cover the inner area. Very good. In the meantime, spider drones. Are engaging left and right. Can't really see anyone from up here, but we could from up here, which is where we want to go. a difference going in Asian cow moves up high ground isn't as important as it is in XCOM but still high ground is high ground specifically if you have really good cover up here 
you can hit them and they have no chance of retaliating. Alright, Justin moves up. And Vanessa, all fairness, potentially she will not see another fight during uh, this whole thing. Like the wind. Good, and a turn. This guy is going to die. Oh, he flees instead. Proceeding. Get ready for the boom. Okay, all right, very good. Over to here. It's over. Game over, man. That's a kill. Let's show them what we can do. Here comes the Phoenix. Time to hit these guys. We're watching. They're not getting past me. On my way. Craig moves up. Aiming. No, that can't be correct. I was about to say, way too inaccurate. This looks more like a sniper. That didn't work. I'll keep my eyes open. Justin. Uh. Hits very well. It does not kill him. Crunch time. I'm repositioning. Agent Cow moves up, repositions, and kills. See anyone? Hmm. I missed by this much. That was a full fledged miss. Unfortunate. Steven still has four will points, so really not much happening here. We're overwatching. I think general overwatch is an appropriate reaction. Vanessa overwatches as well. Incivinci moves up. Yeah, and reduces uh, their actions quite substantially.
Spiders are moving up. Even more spiders are moving up. At the beginning I thought the spider drones were not really good, but I learned to actually enjoy them quite a bit. I'm prepared. Good, fantastic shot. And that's pretty much it, right? Bigger. Good, the Sypho moves up, sprints up even further. <coughs> Ten bleeding, My turn. almost done. Here I come, and Asian cow. Finishes it. I think that was it, right? Good. Finally, we'll get some rewards the other way around because uh, the disciples of Anu should be happy that we've defended. Unfortunately, I think that uh, Sinidron will be unhappy either way, which, by the way, is complete bullshit. Why would they even be interested in whom we're defending or not? But. I guess it's a method to dis to either force you into letting enemies lose bases or to disallow um, continuously being at a hundred in all reputations. <laughs> 